You see them on neighborhood roads, on city streets, and on our nation's highways. Many organizations rely on 15 passenger vans to transport people and cargo. But these vans don't handle like a passenger car. Driving them requires certain safety precautions. Today, you'll learn why driving 15 passenger vans deserves special care and practical tips for transporting your passengers safely. The involvement of 15 passenger vans in crashes and the resulting injuries and deaths have raised many concerns about these vehicles. In 2002, in Maine, a 15 passenger van crashed and rolled over, causing the deaths of 14 passengers. 15 passenger vans usually have seating for a driver and 14 passengers. Many different groups use them, including colleges and universities, military, correctional facilities, van pools, daycare providers, airport shuttle services, churches, summer camps, school sports teams, car rental agencies, and organizations that transport migrant workers. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, reports that in a recent 12-year period, there were over 1,570 fatal crashes involving 15 passenger vans. These accounted for over 1,100 passenger deaths. NHTSA research found that the rollover risk of 15 passenger vans dramatically increases as the number of passengers increases. In fact, 15 passenger vans with 10 or more occupants had a rollover rate in single vehicle crashes nearly three times the rate as when they were lightly loaded. The odds of this type of van rolling over when it is filled to capacity is five times the odds of rollover when the driver is the only one in the van. As more people fill a 15 passenger van, the center of gravity moves upward and toward the rear of the van. This makes the van more likely to roll over. It also makes the van handle differently from most cars. These factors increase the chances that a driver will lose control of the van, especially when reacting to unforeseen circumstances like being cut off by another vehicle. NHTSA found that the rate of a rollover increased significantly at speeds over 50 miles per hour and on curved roads. Striking research also shows that safety belt use among occupants of 15 passenger vans is very low compared to other types of vehicles, increasing the odds of fatalities from a rollover. When it comes to crashes, the age of the driver was less of a factor than the amount of experience they had. A majority of highly publicized crashes involve inexperienced drivers. Many drivers tend to operate 15 passenger vans infrequently and often don't have formal training. Rollover crashes can be deadly, so it's important to know the common situations that cause the majority of 15 passenger van rollovers. The first situation is when the van runs off a road. The van could roll over when it hits a ditch or embankment, when it runs into soft soil or is tripped by running into or over a curb or similar object. The second common cause of a rollover involves the driver overcorrecting the steering when a wheel drops off the pavement or when making a panic reaction to an emergency. Referred to as oversteer, it can cause the driver to lose control and roll over or slide sideways, especially when traveling at higher speeds. When the rear of the van slides sideways or fishtails, the driver may oversteer, causing the rear of the van to slide too much in the opposite direction. Once a van fishtails beyond 15 degrees, it's almost impossible to recover. A rollover can also occur when a driver is tired, dozes off at the wheel, and loses control of the van. When the driver is traveling too fast for the road conditions, especially when the pavement is wet or icy, the van can slide sideways and off the road. When the tires hit the softer earth, the van could likely overturn. The first thing to remember when driving a 15-passenger van is that it isn't just a big car. A van handles differently, especially when fully loaded. Drivers should be trained and experienced. As a comparison, federal law requires a commercial driver's license to transport 16 or more people for commercial purposes. Before setting off, inspect the van and familiarize yourself with the locations of controls, such as headlight switches and windshield wipers. Check the position of mirrors and adjust the seat to your body. Test drive the vehicle to check the brakes and steering and make sure the vehicle is handling correctly. 
If you notice any problems, especially with the braking or steering, have them checked right away. Tire pressure and tread wear should be checked at least once a week. Tires that aren't properly inflated or have worn treads can cause handling problems or even a blowout. When loading the van, fill the front seats first. If possible, have passengers and cargo forward of the rear axle. If the van is loaded to capacity, remind yourself that the center of gravity has shifted and the van will handle differently than when you are driving alone or with just a few people. You should never have more than 15 people riding in the van. Avoid placing loads on the roof of the van, as this also increases the risk of a rollover. One of the most important safety tips when operating a van is to make sure every passenger is buckled up at all times. NHTSA have found that 80% of passengers killed in rollover crashes involving 15 passenger vans were not wearing safety belts. Looked at another way, people who wear safety belts are 75% less likely to be killed in a rollover crash than those who don't. Therefore, it's critical to require the use of safety belts. In December 2004, NHTSA issued a new rule requiring that rear center seats in all new passenger vehicles be equipped with lap and shoulder belts as opposed to just lap belts by the year 2008. This ruling includes new 15 passenger vans. While on the road, use defensive driving techniques. Be alert and stay focused on your task. Don't use a cell phone while driving. Don't tailgate. Leave more space between you and the vehicle in front of you than you would if you were driving a car. A 15 passenger van requires much more braking distance. On the highway, be mindful of your blind spots. Allow more space and use side mirrors when changing lanes. Most rollovers happen as a result of a sudden steering maneuver while traveling at high speeds. Therefore, do not follow other vehicles too closely and avoid changing lanes abruptly. Drive at a safe speed for the weather and road conditions. Remember, the speed you normally drive in a car may be too fast for a 15-passenger van. In rural areas and neighborhoods, watch out for pedestrians, bicyclists, and animals that could dart into the road. Because a 15-passenger van is longer than most vehicles you drive, be careful not to cut corners too sharply. Striking a curb with the rear wheel when turning could cause a rollover. When parking, make sure the van does not stick out too far into the roadway where other vehicles could hit it. When reversing a 15-passenger van, use a spotter when possible. Back up to the left toward the driver's side of the van so you have better visibility and use your mirrors. As with any vehicle, obey all traffic laws and signs. Many rollovers in 15-passenger vans occur when the wheels of the van go off the roadway. It's extremely important to know what to do if this happens. First, don't panic. Do not brake suddenly or abruptly swing the van back onto the road. Instead, gradually slow down and steer back onto the roadway when it is safe to do so. Be especially alert when driving on rural roads. Rural roads tend to have more curves and softer shoulders than highways. Maintain a safe speed at all times. When 15 passenger vans are used for long trips, follow these additional safety guidelines. First, drive during the day when possible. Have someone stay awake in the front seat with you to help keep you alert. Take breaks often, especially if you begin to feel tired. You may be tempted to share the driving, but you should only allow people who are experienced at driving a 15-passenger van to take over. A cell phone is a good communication tool to have on long trips, but don't use it while driving. Whenever and wherever you are driving, avoid any conditions that could lead to a loss of control. Never drive after drinking or taking drugs, which includes some prescription and over-the-counter medications. Do not drive if you are tired. Get plenty of rest. Do not make sudden lane changes or abrupt steering maneuvers and maintain a safe speed. Even with the newer vehicles that have stability control systems, don't feel that they are totally safe. The systems do provide help in preventing rollovers, but they will not work in every case. If you are new to driving 15 passenger vans, find out if you can practice driving the van before you transport any passengers or cargo. This will help you get a feel for size and handling. Remember, however, that the way the van handles will change as it's loaded with more people and cargo.
When driving alone or with passengers, it can't be stressed enough that everyone should wear a safety belt at all times. As the driver, require each person to put on his or her safety belt in order for the van to leave the parking lot. While driving, avoid sharp turns, abrupt lane changes or steering maneuvers, and always maintain a safe speed for the weather and road conditions. You're in the driver's seat now. Follow the safety guidelines in this program for 15 passenger vans and make every trip a safe trip.